かおじさん吉高お前こんな夜遅くまでどこ行ってたんだええー、っと友達とみんなで野球してたなんだそうだったのか帰りが遅いから心配したんだぞそれよりおじさん聞いてよ今日のテスト俺一番だったんだよそうか吉高は頭いいなうんみんな僕も混ぜてよおめえバットもグローブも持ってねえじゃねえかよ俺ら貧乏人とは遊べねえんだよ<笑><笑>おじさんねえ起きてよ死なないでよしたかおじさんしたかよく聞くんだよしたかは頭がいいたくさん勉強して偉くなりなさいごめんな守ってやるおじさんだれだ片瀬です入れ。失礼します沖縄行きの飛行機手配いたしました1時間半後羽田発ですわかった会長なんだい,いえ何でもありませんただ最近ずいぶんご無理をされておられるのではないかと会長にもしものことがあったら私そんな顔しないでくれ大丈夫だ昨日国会議事堂前で起こった一連の騒動に関し警察の見解では沖縄の基地拡大法案に反対する団体の仕業との見方が強まっています首謀者の行方は依然としてつかめておらず引き続き捜索が行われているとのことで消してくれ警察は今後、うん、国会議事堂周辺の警備を強化するとともに<笑> Just the truck! Just the truck! Go ahead! <笑> Did you see how close he was to one of those guys on the floor? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn it. Looks like getting down to Okinawa is not going to be as easy as we thought, huh? We?、Oui? Sorry, Tate san. But I need to do this alone. What? I mean, he's going to have an army of guys down there. Come without any backup and. Like, it's like signing your own damn death wish. I mean, it's got a point, Kiryu chan. Oh, you're here. Hello! <laughs> Your shoes! Where's the medal on them? Is it my mod? Or what? I don't know. You ask me? We send in some of my boys. Rough some people up. Make sure nobody even thinks about laying a hand on you. Look, I'll be fine on my own. Why are you being so stubborn about this? The only reason I've gotten this far involved is so I can make sure Morning Glory is safe. I care about Daigo and the Tojo clan, yeah. When push comes to shove, the Okinawa fight is mine and mine alone. Really? You could be like, bro. Okay, fine. Not anymore, it ain't. And with the CIA and those Hakuho thugs turning the place all topsy turvy. I'll be okay. I have friends down there. Huh? The Ryudo family. If I'm gonna be settling a fight in Okinawa, I want to do it with Okinawa natives by my side. Oh.、Um. You sure about that, Kiryu chan? He looks like, you don't want me there! Oh, I won't hurt you, want it to be how I want my bro. You disappoint me! I wanted the fight! 
100%. Suppose that's that then. <laughs> You're disappointing him! So what? You just giving up, Majima? Kiryu Chan's a big stubborn ox. No change in his mind when he's like that, Daddy Sam. You should know that better than anyone. Even so, I. Kiryu Chan. Majima family, I'll keep the lights on over at the Tojo HQ queue while you're gone. Go do what you gotta do, yeah? <laughs> Thank you, Majima Nonisen. <laughs> That's my boy. He's over here just being an utter unit. The best backup a guy could ask for. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna talk to him once more. I'm so upset about his shoes. Did you lose the metal on them, Nissan? Did they just fuck off? <laughs> bye bye. You ever need a hand or a hundred from the Majima family? Just give me a ring. I'll be down there before you even hang up the phone. Thanks, Nissan. But I think I'll be okay. <laughs> just don't let Mine or those CIA assholes get the better of you, you hear? You're not allowed to go down until I bring you down myself. Understood, man. Understood. <laughs> I think I've done everything I can. I'm just gonna go check anyway. I don't know. <laughs> oh, good thing I did. What's this? Oh! Nice work, Kitty-san. I'm really grateful that you agreed to help catch the hitman in Okinawa. I wanted to let you know the HLA offices in Okinawa received info on a hitman in downtown Dooku. When you're in downtown Dooku, stop by Dooku Shogi under the monorail station. One of my men there will fill you in on the details. Sorry for all the trouble. Thank you! No problem, baby. No problem. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> oh, more prep, more prep, more prep. Where's that mango? There it is. I need this for later. You hear? Alright. Now I'm ready. I'm ready now. I'm ready now. I promise. Be careful down there, Kiryu. For a small island, there are sure going to be a lot of people who want to mess with you. The Hako, the CIA. Just stay safe, will you? I'll do my best. Okay. Now, I bid thee farewell, my bros. Goodbye. <laughs> I must say goodbye to my precious bros. It's so sad. It's so sad. Okay. I need to go to the airport, please. Oh, we'll call That's a lot of money. If the walkthrough's anything to go by, then going there, you can go there and back from now on, but it does cost a lot of money, so do it sparingly. I promised Tamiya I'd save Toma and Joji and Kazuma at the CIA. First things first, I need to find Toma. Though I want to stop by the orphanage first. The kids will be thrilled to know I'm back in town. Oh my god! Tuna fund news! Soda from the tuna fund here. How have you been? The tuna farming couldn't be going better and we're raising some real whoppers. These farm raised tuna are fattier and tastier than the wild kind. Okinawa tuna fund farm. Tuna farms, tuna fund, address XXYY Hatsumachi North, downtown Duke, Okinawa, phone XYYYZ. And there's a fish. The tuna fund. Come to think of it, I did invest in something by the name back in Kamurocha. Hatsumachi North, downtown Dukyu, Okinawa. That's not far from here at all. I'll have to head over there later. Or right now. Why have I got more emails? Oh my god, all the- And there's Mac as well! Should be round here? The tuna fund? This place matches the address from the tuna fund. Yeah. Huh? Pardon me, sir, but you are... Wait. Is this the office for the tuna fund? The tuna fund? No, sir, it's not. A lot of people have been asking that us that lately, though. Is something going on with this tuna fund group? Something's not right. I'll have to ask around once I get back to Kamurocho. And that's the 
story in Balamori. That's it. That's all you can do for the tuna flat in this chapter. But there you go. You have to do this to finish it. And then you finish it next time you go to Camarocha, which you can do if you want. But I don't want to spend the money. So we're going to do it next time we go back. <laughs> oh, God. How's it swinging, kitty san Just wanted to fill you in on some juicy deets I slurped up the other day. You know Hatsumachi, yeah? Tons of interesting looking people roaming around there, let me tell you. Speaking of, there's this old dude you might want to try to find. Just concentrate real hard one, uh, once you do take in the glory. Word on the street, you gotta press the ah to concentrate. The ah! You hear me? The ah! <laughs> I found the old man. Hmm? Oh, Oh, foreigner? Oldman? Oh. Huh. Hey, oh! Banana! Ooh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, no! no! Oh dear. That's some real bad luck. Uh, poor guy just had some tough luck. Oh, wow! That was it? Holy shit. <laughs> This one. Hmm. This is a finisher. Oh. Nice. Another revelation. I took one look at this guy plodding along and knew he'd inspire me. Just as I readied my camera, he slipped on a banana peel. The peel then soared through the air and landed on a rugged-looking guy's head. I'll let you imagine the rest. Oh. And the move I learned from this is really something else. <laughs> you learned super finish, hell's gauntlet. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Na 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 Huh? Huh? You're that guy from last time! Hmm? Shouldn't you be falling down or something? <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's true. Aren't you still bumping into people and asking them to pay your medical bills? Hmm? Oh, that old scam? Nah, we put that behind us. <laughs> falling down and pretending to be hurt got tiring. It's easy to just demand the cash up front. So now you're shaking people down for their lunch money? Isn't that a step backward for you? Money? What was that, wise ass? Fuck with us and we'll throw you into the Kabuchi River! You've tried this once before, you know. Oi, <laughs> oi! Bicycles, bicycles, a lovely abundance. I can never grab things when I want to. Sham, bam, bram. Oi, that was rude, mate. That was fucking rude. You're destroying my uh, my weaponry. Oh, that was nice. Don't need to waste any more heat on that though. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Not this 
chicken! Whether you fall down or not, nothing seems to work for you, does it, buddy? <sighs> Maliki, maybe we aren't cut out for this kind of work. <sighs> oh. So, what now? Oh! <laughs> I guess we go look for greener pastures. Make a fresh start in some other town. Oh yeah, and here's that payment I promised. This is for all the trouble we caused you. Thank you. I need to pay make back all my money from the apparent scam that is the tuna fund. It's so sad. Something wanted to pop up there, but it didn't. <laughs> or English teacher or seven mysteries. 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 I don't know. <laughs> Which one? Ooh. So my dad was getting threats from this scary guy. Aww. Apparently he made up this crazy story saying my dad dented up his car in Hatsumachi. Then he forced him to sign an agreement saying you'd pay for all the damages. Now there are a bunch of scary dudes showing up at our house every single day looking for money. That's not right at all. Shouldn't you talk to the police about this? We tried, but since my dad signed the agreement, apparently there's nothing we c they can do about it. Ever since then, my mom's been a nervous wreck. We even have to move to my grandma's house in Tokushima just to get away from all the stress. But you promised we'd all graduate together. I know, I'm sorry. At this rate, I probably won't be able to get into the same college either. Eh? Chisato? What are you doing? You know the Trevi Fountain in Italy? They say if you throw a coin in there and make a wish, it'll come true. Well, this river is the Okinawan version of that, so I figured I'd give it a shot. What? I never heard of anything like that before. Doesn't hurt to try, does it? I wish that we could all be together forever and ever. You throw one too, Haruko. Okay. None of this is your fault, Haruko. Don't feel too down. It's the bad guys in Atsumachi that are at fault here. Yeah, try to cheer up, okay? You know, why don't we go get something to eat? Sounds like some con men have a car set up in Hatsumachi as a money-making scheme. I will deal with them promptly. This car? Come to think of it, I remember hearing about somebody forced into paying a for car damages in Hatsumachi. Hey. Hold it right there, dude! I saw you damage my car! And don't give me that who me bullshit! If I damaged your car, then where's the damage? Take a good look! It's all dented up right here! Jeez, look how bad it is! That's gonna cost a fortune! Now get your ass over to the office so we can talk this over! Here, I'll even walk ya! Ain't I a stand-up guy? Sure, stand-up guy. So how much is it gonna cost to fix up the sheet metal on that car? Well, it'll have to be buffed out from the inside, plus the cost of the fresh new coat of paint. I figure it'll come to about 2 million yen. Just a ballpark figure. Ballpark figure. That's ridiculous. Huh? That's a high-end sports car you fucked up there, pal. Didn't you hear? The entire body's gonna have to be redone just to make it look half decent. You sure know an awful lot about car repairs, don't you? Shut up! You should be happy we're willing to settle this out of court who for a measly two mil. Now, now, two million yen is a fairly hefty sum, and I imagine you can't pay it all right away. So how about this? For now, you can just sign an agreement that says you'll pay for the car repairs, whatever their final costs may be. And who knows, maybe it'll end up being cheaper than we thought, maybe even around 10,000 or so. What do you say? No. <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? I'm not signing anything. I'm terribly sorry to hear that, but I'm afraid we can't let you leave this office without signing. After we wear through you, you'll practically be begging to sign that paper, whether in ink or in blood! Oh. Oh. Is that so? Oh! It's a nice desk you got there. Ah! <laughs> Yes. 
for the bridge. Scheiße. Get, let me go. Let me, no. <laughs> Nobody puts Kiryu in a corner. Biatch. Try me. Oi. Push. Ha ha. What? What the hell did you find this freaking lunatic? So you pretend that people dent your car in order to pressure them into paying up, and they have to sign a phony agreement in order to seal the deal, right? That's basically our entire scheme, so... Yes. Then you'd better stop with this nonsense right now. Or else you're the one who's gonna need the dents buffed out of you. Yes, sir. I'm really sorry about all this. We'll be out of your hair immediately. Oh, and please take this. I hope we can put all this behind us and go our separate ways. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> I got stuff. Ooh. Oh, lady. Guess what? Those guys who were threatening my dad? They suddenly up and left downtown Dooku for good. Dad even went to their office with his lawyer and it was completely deserted. Oh, Haruko. That's wonderful. Now we don't have to move. You don't have to move to Tokushima anymore. We can't get back the money they took, but at least they won't be there won't be any more psychos pounding on our door. People around town are saying this is a big, ripped, scary looking old guy really taught those guys a lesson. <laughs> old man kid you. Well, I think those coins we tossed in the river really made our wishes come true. Maybe, huh? And if that's the case This could be the last of the seven mysteries of downtown Ryukyu. We had the curse lockers, the golden agu pork. And now, if three people stand on the bridge and toss a coin into the river, they'll get their wishes granted. Oh my gosh, we just made up one of the seven mysteries. <laughs> All this excitement's got me starving. Let's go grab some Goya burgers. I'll swell the dance well. Couldn't that ripped, scary looking old guy they were talking about be me? Huh. There's something under the railing. Might be a lucky coin. I'll keep it as compensation for getting to the bottom of all those mysteries. Eee! <laughs> All's well that ends well, as I've been saying a stupid amount of times, but hey ho! You! Hello? Nah. Oh, you're the man from before. I was watching you work your magic. It looks like you're pretty well acquainted with that beautiful brunette. I guess so. However, it seems like a language barrier is preventing you two from becoming as close as you could be. Which is why I'll offer you an intermediate handbook for the low, low price of 20,000 yen. Only in Okinawa. How's that for a local specialty? The intermediate handbook focuses more on direct communication between close friends and even more intimate relationships. I'm sure you've just got to have it, right? Sure, fine. Hmm. Alright. I'll take it. Very well. Then here's your intermediate handbook. Ugh. I got an intermediate English textbook. Okay. This section is about conversing with a lover. <laughs> I don't want to go home tonight. I don't deserve your love. These are way too cheesy. <laughs> You'll be a real player if you can chat her up in English, you know. After all, there are some things you can only say in English that can show ha her how stylish and cultured you are. Our English handbooks only teach you the stuff you need to know. Nothing more, nothing less. And the more effort you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. Guaranteed. By the way, I hear a lot of foreigners hang out at a bar in Hatsumachi called Aqua Sky. Well, as they say in English, have a nice day! 
Thank you. Okay. Off to get some bitches! Oh my god. I never knew Japan could be so lonely. Is that the woman from before? Oh, we've met a few times now. Funny how we keep running into each other. How about we grab a drink? Could she be inviting me out for a drink? Well, you cannot take... Uh, not refuse this. My name's Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Hey, Stacy. I'm Kiryu. Kazuma Kiryu. <laughs> oh my god, he's getting so good. What a name. I wonder what it means. I wish I knew more Japanese. Here goes. You're always so kind to me, Kiryu. You always help me when I'm in trouble. You know, Kiryu, I don't want to go home tonight. <laughs> she seems to be inviting me somewhere. Unless I'm totally mistaken, there should be some kind of phrase I can say in this situation. It was in the handbook. When someone says they don't want to go home tonight, and they're out drinking with you, and they happen to be a beautiful woman, then the best thing to say would be... He's like mumbling all this to himself, she's just watching him go... Me, 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 me. I love you. I love English. <laughs> I don't deserve your love. I don't deserve your love. But you do, Kiryu. More than you know. We're getting some American poon. I'm impressed. Your English, it's amazing. Ever since you helped me, I can only think about you. Nothing but you, Kiryu. Here, please accept this. Oh. Will I see you again? You didn't let me answer! Come back here! <laughs> Get back here! Damn, impatient. Thanks to that handbook, I managed to speak with her in English most of the time. Even if it was, I was just winging it. Hey, good for you, man. Good for you, hey. It's like we're going down the list. Here is uh, the girl who went to Tokyo. Guess we can close this up then. Ah. Oh, hi, Kitty-san. What a coincidence. Wait, Kaede? I thought you were living in Tokyo. Yeah, I loved working at th that shop too, but I finally realized my calling. What's that? I want to manage an inn in Okinawa. It'll be a place where the tired fathers of Tokyo can come and take a load off. An inn? Where did that idea come from? Oh, the customers at Earth Angel said that Tokyo wasn't the right place for me. They told me, Kaede-chan, you should go home to Okinawa and start your own business. Wait, doesn't that mean that they... Don't think you're cut out for Tokyo? Huh? Oh, I don't know about that. When I told my customers about my idea, they all got super excited and said they'd absolutely come visit me. I believe that when they say that, I'll make a place where the tired fathers of Tokyo can relax when they come to Okinawa. Is that right? Not a bad idea to follow your heart and make your dreams come true. Oh. And when I talked to Momiji-chan about it, she said that we could do it together. You see, my family used to run their own inn, but a bunch of hotels opened up in the same area and they had to close down. I know a lot about running an inn, so I should be able to help Kaede-chan with hers. I'm sure it'll go well if we work together. An inn that serves the hard-working men of Tokyo. That's not a bad idea. Still, if we want to get up and running, we're going to need money. I wonder if we should take out a loan. That's true. I think you can get it started without borrowing too much money, though. Huh? But how? Kaede, your friend's family used to run their own inn, right? Well, yeah. There are hotels all around that area, that means it's a good location. In that case, you can just remodel the old place to fit your needs. Oh, yeah! I never thought about that. What? Huh? You'd be okay with that, Momiji? It's totally fine. Plus, my parents can help us with that, too. All right! Then the money I earned in Tokyo should be more than enough. Thank you, Kiryu san Man, you're so smart. Well, I don't know about that. I couldn't tell you if it'll work out. I'm sure it will. I can't thank you enough. You've done so much for me. Thanks to you, I've discovered my calling. Oh, I know. Here, take this. It's something I bought in Tokyo. Thanks. You've got to visit my inn once we open. You can stay for free, of course. <laughs> See ya! Bye, Kaede. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yay. 
<laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! They're just all lined up here! Look at this! Well, uh, maybe you heard something about it being in this area. No, don't think so. Whatever ended up getting buried all those years ago is probably still in the ground. Besides, it's the Yamashita treasure. Just isn't the ya Yamashita treasure just an urban legend? <sighs> yes, well, I suppose this area has changed quite a bit over the years. Hmm. No, I'm in a pickle. I need to be heading back to Tochigi next week. I have no idea where to look next. Hmm. Something wrong, old timer? I couldn't help but overhear you. Uh. Oh, well, I'm actually on a search. Treasure hunt's more like it. A treasure hunt? Really? Uh. Why, sure. Here. Take a look, see? I got a map and everything. How did this end up in your hands? How about it uh, this whole time? See, this is a map to the treasure my friends and I buried while we were stationed in Okinawa during the war. Okay. And what was this treasure? Uh. It was... Well, we were being evacuated at the time, so we buried whatever we couldn't carry to lighten the load. Oh, yeah. Wait, you never heard of this one? The story of the Yamashita treasure? You know, all that gold and army, the army buried? Oh. Well, this map has the location of the very same treasure. <sighs> we all said we'd come dig it up after the war, but we got so caught up in the... I guess you could call it aftermath, that we never made it back to what was ours. <sighs> Now I know I ain't got much time left in this world, but the thought of claiming the treasure still haunts me. Please, will you help an old man find his lost fortune? It's right here on this map, I swear it. Or I'm as good as dead. I'll help you. Treasure hunting does sound like a nice diversion. Okay, I'll help you find what you're looking for. Uh. Many thanks, young man. Once you find this treasure, I'll make sure you get your share. Well then, here's a copy of the map. Let's sp split up and search. Okay. Name's Tabayashi, by the way. I'll give you my cell phone number, too. Give me a call if you find anything, yeah? Got it. I'm Kiryu, by the way. So all I have to do is follow this map? Hmm. Yeah. Make sure to call me when you find the treasure, too. Don't go pulling any fast ones. Look at that. Uh, map, map, map. Map, map. Map. <sighs> okay, there's the river. Hmm. Copy of an old Okinawan map. Apparently at least there's some hidden money. I mean, that, there's a bridge there. That could be Hatsumachi. Right? Yeah, look. It could be, like, this is turned around a different way, but if we look at it the other way, it could be, like, right around here. Or something. Like that. Around here? Let's go look. Well, there's a look thing here, so it must be here. According to the map, the treasure should be somewhere around here. I'll get Tabayashi a call. I'll give Tabayashi a call to let him know. Call the man. Call the man. Oh. Hello? This is Tabayashi speaking. It's Kiryu. You know the place that's marked on the map you gave me? Well, I found somewhere just like it. You did? Well, where is it? It's in a parking lot in Hatsumachi near the Kario Kekang. You can't miss it. Okay, hold on. I'll be right there. Whoa, gotta find some treasure! No. Oh. So, here? Yes, if this is the Kabochi River and this is the big street, then yep, this is the place. Mm -hmm. Wait a second now. It's all coming back to me. Yes, I'm starting to remember where we buried it. The treasure ought to be right behind this parking lot. Well, I'll go take a look-see. Maybe nobody's stuck it up yet. Could this Yamashita treasure really exist? I guess we're about to find out. Dun-dun-dun! Well, did you find anything? 
Uh. I did. There's a vacant lot behind this parking lot. And I found these buried under the statue over there. Oh. These are a bunch of letters. That's what the Yamashita treasure is? Yeah. To be honest, this ain't the Yamashita treasure at all. They're letters from soldiers to their families that I left here during the war. What were you doing with a bunch of letters? Uh. Well, you see... During the war, I was too young and frail to be sent out to the front lines. Instead, I worked as a postman to the soldiers fighting here in Okinawa. And the only thing that kept our spirits alive throughout the death and dying were these letters. Both to and from loving families eagerly awaiting our return. But then the war turned too ugly for us to handle, so we pulled out Okinawa and never looked back. <coughs> I couldn't bring myself to send these sorrowful letters written by sons who sacrificed themselves in the war effort. Instead, I buried him here and left like a coward. I... I never delivered these soldiers' final words to their families. And the guilt's been hanging over my head for a long time now. So that's what this is all about. <sighs> I'm sorry. The whole search for the Yamashita treasure was a lie. Hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Don't worry about me. I'm just curious as to what you'll do with those letters now that you have them. Hmm. I know a lot of time's gone by, but I'd still like to deliver these to the families of those deceased and gone. Once I do that, I'll finally be able to put the war behind me. I see. I'll give you what was buried with the letters. It's old, but I'll bet a man like you could still use it. Thank you. Thank you so much, young man. I'll remember your kindness as long as this old heart keeps thumping in my chest. Farewell. Oh. Man. Okay. She's back, eh? Hello. Nah. Oh, you're the man from before. It looks like you're getting pretty friendly with that beautiful brunette, wink wink. You've been watching us? <laughs> That's not what's important. Yes, it is. What really matters is your heart. Listen, you'd like to be more intimate with a female companion in more ways than one, right? Oh my god, dude. Stop! So, why don't you buy our love handbook right now for 55,000 yen? I am pretty sure the title says it all, if you know what I mean. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. Will you take the plunge and witness your love life change forever? Or are you fine being bone dry? Oh, my God. Rip. Fine, I'll buy your fucking handbook. Fine. Oh, it should be all here. Arigatou gozaimasu. Mm, nice and crisp. Well, here's your love handbook. It's practically a conversational Kama Sutra. Ooh. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. <laughs> Got an English textbook on dating. Whew. Okay, here it is. Conversing in the bedroom. <laughs> Why don't you come to my room? Let's make sweet, passionate love. <laughs> now, before you get too excited, remember, whether she gives you a yes or a no, Depends on how smooth you are. <laughs> Our English handbooks give you exactly what you need to know, so you can be the lover you're truly meant to be. Now I hope you enjoy the course, and as we say in English, have a nice day! Wow. I'm friggin' dying, bro. I'm friggin' dying. I'm done dying, death dying. There she is! Oh my goodness, what a coincidence! Hello! Kitty, my love! Oh, Kiryu, my knight in shining armor. Hey, good to see you. Why don't you come to my room so we can have a little fun? The English handbook mentioned something along the lines of what she said. Or at least what I thought she said. English can be a beast sometimes. <laughs> Reverse that and I agree. <laughs> Let's make sweet, passionate love, Kiryu. <laughs> <laughs> if she's asking for my love, then the only right answer is... <laughs> no thanks. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, kid you. I knew you were a real man. Now come show me how real you are. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Stacy's room. What a lady. It looks exactly like the apartment that I beat up those human traffickers in. Ooh. 
Huh? <laughs> oh, but before you get down and dirty, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Now you need a... <laughs> doing the deed handbook. <laughs> Only for a hundred thousand yen. <laughs> what the... What are you doing here? Allow me to introduce a special instructor's course, only available to valued customers who've purchased all the handbooks, such as yourself. Once you've registered for this instructor's course, you'll be qualified for 15% profit margin on every handbook you sell. Sounding good already? But wait, there's more! This is a pyramid scheme. You'll also receive 5% of tuition fees from any and all instructors that sign up from the program through you. You'll be rolling in cash before you know it. The instructor's course is totally a great deal, kitty san Let's become English teachers together. Wait. Your Japanese isn't broken at all. You're fluent. Well, duh. And besides, if you sign up for the instructor's course, I can instruct you on a more intimate level. If you register now, I'll mark off some of the additional fees and bump it down to 25,000 yen. Not a bad deal, right? Hell no! Hell no! Hell no! There's no way I'd pay that much. You're clearly running a scam. No, oh, is that so? How unfortunate. You leave me no choice. All right, you guys. You're up. Right away, ma'am. Mike! Whoa, oh, you're on Palmen looking ass! <laughs> End of the line, kid you. Cage. Oh, one of them changed. What? Wow, that that went up, then went tits up. Oi, 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 Ah, no! Oi, bro, why? Why? I wanted to grab him! Fuck! Nope, no, nope, nope, no, 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 no. Gates. <laughs> Oh my god, why? Why does my guy have white hands? Is it like a re is it like reverse Michael Jackson or what? <laughs> Bro, what's up with yous? A reverse tan is an interesting idea. Oh, I have taboo. No, I had so far. Shit. Shit. Oh, okay. Bush. Bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The language of the fight is universal. Oh, that hurt like a bitch, man. So, all of this was just an attempt to con me? Well, at first it was. But now I feel... Oh, enough of this nonsense! Look, I'm sorry for tricking you, but you had to have enjoyed at least a little bit, right? Here, take it. Your handbook fees plus extra for the trouble. Just take it and forget this whole thing happened, alright? Hey, hey! Come on, Stacy, let's go. Uh, Stacy? What are you doing? I hope you can forgive me, and even if you can't, I want you to know. I really do love you, and I always have. Goodbye, my prince. <laughs> Did she just propose to me or what? He gave me a ring. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh. <sighs> it's been years since I last dine and dash. How do I handle this? Oh my god. What happened? Uh, wow, a Dine and Dasher. We haven't had one in almost 20 years. Oh, yeah? Hey, there he is. Over there. He's too thin uh, to be the other guy. 
What do I do? I can't leave the shop, but I can't just let him go. Could you catch the Dine and Dasher? I'm sure I can find something to pay you with. All right. Fine. I just need to catch him, right? <sighs> Sorry to drag you into this. I'll make sure it's worth your time. Okay, okay. Get back here, you little shit! Oh, that was dirty, dirty. It's got a lot of stamina, jeez Louise. Holy fucking shit! I tripped on a child. Oh my gosh. Almost. One more, one more, one more. No, I said one more. One more. Omoira! Bush! Ah! Oh, what did I? What did I? It's over! I got you! Oh. Uh, are you? <laughs> hey, it's me! You know, the old Kamurusha Tanadasha! You've lost a shit ton of weight, my guy! Congratulations! But why are you doing this again? Wait, you're that Dine and Dasher? But... Oh. Oh, I, I tried, but I just couldn't give it up. I dashed my way across Japan and, well, look how much <laughs> weight I lost. I run a popular blog, too. Maybe you've heard of the Dine and Dash diet going around? Hmm? Something wrong? Never mind. Just come back to the shop with me. <sighs> Pork rib noodles. Bill of melon stir fry that comes to 2,300 yen. <sighs> if you can't pay, you can wash dishes for me. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I just can't help myself. <sighs> I'll let you go this time. But remember that dining and dashing is a crime. Don't ever do this again. He's been a little way too many times. Thanks for bringing him to justice. I just don't know what kids these days are thinking. Oh, thank you. Where are you going? <laughs> I knew it'd be you. You're the only man who can catch me. Look, just give it up. <laughs> oh yeah! My new diet made me famous. And I even got a girlfriend. That manager from the gelato place, remember? Really? I got a thing for strong women. I sort of fell for her when she was scolding me. And now we're on vacation together. <laughs> I know. So, what I'm trying to say is, I'm done for real. Today marks my final dash, because no matter what thrills I get from it, I can't compare to the special lady in my life. Okay, goodbye. I don't get it, but at least he's done. <laughs> yeah. Whew. And that's that story finished. Done a lot, eh? Oh, uh, well, ain't this a wild surprise? What are you doing all the way out here? Oh, oh, it's Ueda, oh. I should be asking you. Weren't you supposed to be in Kyushu? Well, sure. I was for a while. Walked all over Fukuoka, Kumamoto, and Kagoshima trying out different ramen joints. Then I heard that Okinawa's got some fine tasting pork. So, to make a long story short, I ended up over here on a quest to find the best Okinawan soba. You wouldn't happen to have any clues for me now, would you? Actually, there's a pretty good Okinawan soba stand over in Kariyushu Arcade. Why don't you try it out? As a matter of fact, I think I will! Thanks a lot, big guy! Oh. Well then. Mm. 
He came all the way to Okinawa just to research noodles. This guy's a bit of a noodle himself. Boom. <laughs> Let's do it right now. Right now. Hello. There he is. Oh yeah. Hello. Oh. Hey, thanks for the directions. I finally found the spot. Here you go. One heaping helping a piping hard rush with this over. And since you seem so enthusiastic about it, I added a little extra pork on the house. Mmm. This stuff is incredible. Heck, I could eat it every day for the rest of my life and still get ravenous for more. If he says it. Rough it there, huh? Suppose the... I suppose that Okinawa for braised pork, but man, it's a real treat. Did you know they simmer it with the skin left on? It's to die for. Oh, and the way that the collagen oozes out from the pig skin, straight into the mouth, pure deliciousness right there. It's like a supernova of sweet and succulent. It's that good, huh? Well, I'm glad you found something you liked. Wait a minute. Now what? This is it! This is the ex- Is this exactly what I need? What? I had a vision! A vision of pig skin! It's the collagen, you see! That is what my instant ramen's been missing! If I gingerly wrap the pork bone marrow in collagen enriched pig skin. Yes, I can taste it now! This will be the foundation for Kyushu number one star's Stella Tonkotsu broth! Oh, he's figured something out, eh? Now all I gotta do is whip up a sample with pig skin, and the owners will be singing my praises from here to Kamurocho. <laughs> Wait till I see the look on his face! That was some kid. He ate a total of ten bowls. Holy shit. That was something. Hmm. Oh. It's you! You're part of the Ryoda family, aren't you? What? Boy, am I glad to see you. I can't handle this alone, so I was thinking of asking Nakahara-san a favor. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not in the Ryudo family. Yeah? But I could have sworn I saw you step into Nakahara-san's office the other day with Nikia Kun and his pal. Well, I can't deny that. Then you and Nakahara-san are at least acquainted, right? I have a big favor to ask you. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this, but go ahead. First off, my name's Takeshi Kyan. I run the public market here. Lately, there have been some black market deals going down here. It's been causing us some trouble. Black market? What kind of deals exactly? You don't want their wildcat trafficking. Cats. That's right. The Iriomote wild cats are endangered species protected by law, and it's only found in Okinawa. A few dedicated collectors are willing to pay dealers insane amounts of money for it. And they've been making deals here, in your market. Mm. That's right. But I don't have the expertise needed to bring these criminals to justice on my own. Haven't you contacted the police? I can't do that. If I get the law involved, they'll figure out a shady deal's going on in my market. They'd shut us down. For days. Think of all the business we'd lose. I won't have it. As the public market's president, I have to get this solved without closing us down. I see. I'd be willing to pay you for your trouble. Be really helping us locals out. What do you say? All right. All right, I help. Thank you. So what exactly do I have to do? Actually, my biggest suspect is on the second floor as we speak. You've already got a suspect picked out? Yes. He's a fat man in a green hat and a red Hawaiian shirt. He always shows up in those clothes whenever the Iriomute wildcat deal is going down. A fat man with a green hat and a red Hawaiian shirt. Anything else I should know? Yes. He's always carrying a big cage. A cage? You know, like a carrier. The kind people carry pets in. He probably keeps the wildcats in there. Then all I have to do is look in the cage and know if he's guilty, right? Well, you'd think so. But I thought I caught him red-handed once. When I looked in the cage, it was empty. Empty, eh? So you caught him after the deal had already gone down. Could be. But there's no point in catching the bastard without any evidence. Please, catch him before he makes the deal. Got it. Good luck to you. I'll be waiting right here. Alright. Uh, okay. Let's give this a go then. A guy with a red Hawaiian shirt. What the? Oh. 
Three guys in here with the same shirt. Which one's the criminal? I'll have to pick one based on his other features. The fat guy, right? In a green hat. Hmm? What? You the one making Idiot Morte Wildcat deals or what? <laughs> <laughs> Without proof, you ain't got shit on me, pal. Huh? You got proof? Show me proof. Um. Did I do this? Right? I don't need any proof. The fuck you don't, buddy? If I start the commotion here with you, your partner's gonna come running. Then I catch him, and it's all over. Get the fuck out of here, man! You- uh. Uh. Looks like your man's right on cue. So. This shit's too big for you to fuck up, man! I'm gonna grind your ass into cat food! Nice. Black mud, get pet broker. Oh no, dude, this guy's got a knife. I don't appreciate your knifing. Damn. <laughs> You want? Economy sized extreme spice. Oh shit. There we go. <laughs> Damn it! We're so screwed! Ugh. I told you this wasn't a good place to do business. Meow. That's how it sounds, right? Oh. Did you hear that? That's a wildcat! They're very small. The guy in the red shirt was trying to pick up an Idiomote wildcat from a cellar here. Yeah? He was? The real deal is the guy in the cheap suit. It'll make sense now. That's why the cage was empty when I checked the man in red. You checked before the deal went down. So Crap. Anyway, looks like we got two birds with one stone this time. I'd say we made out pretty good. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's enough that you solved this, but you even handled it quietly. Quietly. Did you hand those guys over to the cops? I did. The case is already solved, and the cops are willing to wait until after closing hours to investigate. The detective was pretty upset I didn't report the crime in the first place, though. <laughs> but it sounds like everything turned out okay. And your reputation's still fine. That's right. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you so much for all you've done. Thank you! Now, thanks to your efforts, the market can run smoothly again. Hey. Woo! Ine, ine, ine. What about a guy doing hit and stops on Ryukyu Boulevard lately? What? Jumping in front of cars and forcing them to pay his medical expenses? That's nothing new. No, the hit and stop guy is way worse than that. He drives around aggressively like he's going to hit someone, then slams on the brakes at the last moment. Then he claims you gave him whiplash or damaged his car or something and uses that to extort you. Really? And this weirdo just cruises through Ryukyu Boulevard? Look out for a black sedan near the intersection. That's what the guy drives, apparently. Okay, got it. I'll keep an eye out for any black sedans. A black sedan doing hidden stops on Ryukyu Boulevard. Guess you can make anything a scam these days. Well, time to run into traffic. That's it. Whoa! <laughs> That guy almost hit me. Yeah. Hey, the hell are you doing? Do you guys see how he jumped in front of me? Oh no, looks like you damaged the car. 
You have any idea how much this car costs? You better pay for this. How could I have damaged your car if I didn't even touch it? Huh? You're trying to be a wise ass now? You got any idea how much this car is worth? It's gonna cost 500,000 yen just to fix this. Mm. Ugh, my neck's starting to hurt. I think I might have whiplash. I just slam on the brakes thanks to him. <sighs> well, part of this was our fault. We could settle this for 100,000 or we could go to the cops and you could pay for all of it. I ain't paying. Why would I pay you? The car isn't damaged. And why should I believe you have whiplash? Huh? What did you say? I try and let you off easy and this is how you treat me? Yeah. You got nuts, jerk. Well, we don't have... If you won't cough up the cash, I'll just beat it out of you. Oh. Oh, it's not so mean. Oh my goodness. Oi, oi. One down. Wow, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Really? It wouldn't let me do the thing. There we go. Boosh. Whoops. Oi. There we go. Waha. My dog goes well. Uh, who are you? I told you we ought to stop doing hit and stops. I've heard of you guys who jump in front of cars, but actually trying to run into people? And even demanding repair money? Well, people usually get intimidated by the luxury cars, so nobody puts up a fight. They usually just pay. You're actually the first... Oh, hang on. I've got to see what my dog's up to. You're actually the first person who hasn't paid us. What's your deal, anyway? I guess this just isn't your day. Okay, um... We apologize. To make up for the trouble we caused, please accept this. <laughs> Money! <laughs> I'll pay for my lunch. <laughs> I need it. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh my god. There he is. It's the boy. He looks normal again. Whoops. <laughs> that was an accident. Him. That hostess and Alex Sam were both wonderful girls. But in the end, I know she's the one for me. You know you're in the way if you stand there, right? Oh, oh Sensei! You're here again! Hi! I need lunch. You again. Onto a, yet another girl? No. I just couldn't get the girl from the burger joint out of my mind. The woman in Hatsumachi was really pretty, but she didn't like younger guys. Haruka-san was totally my type, but she's your wife. Uh, no, you've got that completely wrong. In the end, the hamburger girl's the only one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Even after all that, when I went to the buy a burger, she still said hi to me, and she gave me this big, beautiful smile. That smile melted my heart, and when she handed me my chain, she held the coins almost like she wanted to hold my hand instead. <laughs> okay. That's when I knew she was the one. Destiny must have drawn us together. You're in for some disappointment in life. So I decided to ask her out again. But don't worry, Sensei. I've learned what to do from you. I'll ask her myself. Good luck with that. Well, here I go. Oh, boy. I can't help but worry about him. Mm. Gonna save? Okay. Let's see how it goes. I've liked you ever since the moment I met you. I'd be honoured if you'd go on a date with me. Um, I'm at work. Could you not talk to me right now? That's fine. 
Uh, could you give me the answer when you get off work? <laughs> oh, look are they in love. You're gonna make me puke, you stupid brat. Huh? Stop making customers wait around for your stupid shit. Come on, get the fuck out of the way. What are you doing? I'm in the middle of a very important conversation here. Whoa. The fuck did you just say to me? What? You think you're tough? Come on, Anarchy. Let's fuck him up. Uh, I needed to heal, man. Wait it out. I should see what happens. This moment here could make it or break it for him. Just hold on a sec. This is the first time I've ever asked a girl out. Huh? <laughs> True, she is a pretty damn cute. How about it, sweetheart? Forget this loser and come hang with us. Sounds good, right? Yeah. In fact, I think that's gonna be my order. One cute part-time burger girl combo to go. Please stop this. Someone, I need a manager over here. Stop it. Don't you dare lay a hand on her. Money? Shut your trap. Make like a tree and leave, you short fuck. Oh. Shit. Sensei! You were pretty manly out there. Let me take over for now. Hey, this kid's a friend of mine. You got something to say, then say it to me. Oh, you're the gentleman from before. The hell? You ain't got nothing to do with this old man. Don't cause trouble for this staff and customers. You want to argue? Let's take it outside. Huh? You got some balls, asshole. Stop pretending to be cool, you old fart. I needed to heal, man. That's why I came to Small Burger in the first place. We're pissed off because we're starving. You picking a fight, old man? Because we'll beat the shit out of you. Looks like diplomacy isn't going to cut it. Because I'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Mm. I feel like my dog is about to start barking. He just stood up and is facing my window, so I apologize if that happens. Oi, oi! Bakayaro, bush! Oh, I did the drunk thing. I needed sobering up anyway. <laughs> it's all good. <coughs> I'll get you for this. Just you wait. <gasps> We're never coming back here again. You shouldn't use violence to solve your problems. Huh? I mean, it's our fault for having that conversation at the register. We made everyone wait for us. To finish talking, no wonder they ma were mad at us. Well, yeah, you've got a point there. What do you think? Was his way the right way to handle that situation? Um. Looks like he's having trouble finding the right answer. All right then. <clears throat> do you think he handled that the right way? I, I. I don't think he handled it the wrong way at all. Huh? I'm not strong like Sensei here, but I know that sometimes you have to use violence to solve problems. You have to do just what he did here. But it's not right. Violence isn't the answer. What is right to you? If the person I loved was in danger, I'd do anything to protect them. I don't think it's right to use violence to hurt someone, but I'd do it to protect the person I love. I know it's hard to believe, since we've only just met, but... I really do like you a lot. That's why I was willing to do anything I could to protect you from those punks. I know, but it caused so much trouble for the shop, and for me, I'd rather you not. Right. I get it. I wouldn't want to cause more trouble by asking... Uh, by you asking me out like that again. So if we could start off as friends, I'd think about going on a date with you sometime. Huh? You mean... I mean, it took me off guard, but... I'm sure it took a lot of courage to ask me out in front of all those people. Then you're... just as friends, okay? It's up to you to convince me to be anything more than that. Uh, all right! I did it, Sensei! Good job, kid. Okay. Off 
after your shift is over, let's go to the Blue Seal Parlor. Then to Sam's Maui. Then after that, those are all places to eat. Why don't I bring us some burgers and we go see a movie? Okay. I'll wait for you outside the shop. Hey. Thanks for everything, Sensei. If you hadn't helped me, I wouldn't have gone anywhere with anyone. Looks like getting turned down all those times helped me grow a bit of a backbone. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Keep it up, kid. Before you go, take this. I bought it with the hopes that, uh, with the hopes that I'd, it'd make me more popular. But I don't need it now. All right, I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks again. I gotta go think about what we're gonna do on our date. Mm. Good luck to you, kid. Good luck. Ah, ah, there's the guy from the manga thing. Hey! Kitty-san! Oh, I'm so glad you showed up. Remember me? I'm the editor from Shonen 5. Hey, kind of surprised you really are waiting here for me. <laughs> Man, I couldn't believe I forgot to ask for your cell number. Silly me. I was starting to give up hope on ever seeing you again. So, how's our manga artist? Did you find Hirano's address? Eh. I did. There's just one problem. What is it? Hirano-san's relatives aren't famous doctors, but famous pharmacists. Guess you had some wrong information, then. Yeah. Sure. In any case, the Hirano family pharmacy is that nearby shop... Uh, in that nearby shopping arcade, but we may not want to head there just yet. Why? Is there some sort of problem? Well, earlier I thought I saw Hirano-san standing in front of the train station. I think he's here in Okinawa. You sure it was him, and not someone who just looks like him? Eh. I'm sure of it. I wish I could have chased after him, but I had to wait here, in case you showed up. He was wearing that giant backpack he always wears, there's no mistaking that. Fine, but even if that guy with the backpack was Hirano, what's he doing in Okinawa? I don't know, but he didn't look happy. I couldn't help feeling even... I uh, couldn't help feeling even more worried about him. I feel terrible asking you to do this, Kitty san But please, would you go meet with Hirano-san's family? Does that mean you're going after Hirano? I know I should probably ask you to find Hirano-san, but I'm his editor. I've got to help him. I don't think we could convince his parents of anything if something terrible happened to Hirano. Shouldn't you be more worried about getting Hirano-san's manga serialized in Shonen 5? I'm <laughs> I'm more than just an editor, I'm a human being. And as a human being, I've got to look out for one of my own. Besides, I'm the one who brought Hirano-san into the wonderful world of manga. If something happened to Hirano-san, I don't think I could ever be an editor again. Damn. I thought you were only worried about your job, but underneath it all, your spirit is manly as hell. I'll look for Hirano-san. Please explain the whole situation to Hirano-san's parents. Alright, I will. Okay. Yeah. do. Welcome. What can I get for you? Oh no, I don't need anything. I'm here to talk to you about your son. My son? You know my son? Tsutomo? Tsutomo. 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 Yeah, I do. Truth is, something crazy happened to him in Tokyo. Something crazy? Is Tsutomo alright? What happened? He's fine. Some people would think this is good news, actually. He won the Shonen 5 Grand Prize? I know you might not think it's a great accomplishment, but in the manga world, this is a really big deal. I don't know much about manga, but I do know this. There are hundreds of thousands of people aspiring to become professional manga artists. It's incredible that your son and his manga were chosen out of the many hopefuls. Hell, even the kids I'm looking after read Shonen 5. One of them wanted to read it so badly he asked me to pick up his copy while I was in Tokyo so he could read it early. Despite that, your son is trying to throw away his dream and of becoming a manga artist because of what you might think. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be a doctor, but his dream of becoming a manga artist is just as good. It's my fault. I put so much pressure on him. You wanted him to be a doctor, right? That's right. For generations, every member of our family has followed the career of medicine, whether that meant being pharmacists, nurses, or medical researchers. Despite that, not one of us has ever become a doctor. So that's why you were hoping your son would become a doctor. 
Tsutomo had the grades and the potential to become a doctor. I made sure he wasn't distracted by anything silly when he was young. He needed to focus on his studies after all. And manga was one of those silly things? That's right. Tsutomo always loved to read manga, truth be told. I bought him lots of manga when he was a child. But as soon as he started junior high, I made him throw away his entire collection. He had hundreds of manga volumes. And you made him throw every last one in the garbage? Not the garbage. I made him throw them into the Kubochi River. I thought that doing so would make him hate manga and focus more on his studies. No surprise he's reacted the way he is now. If Sutomo really is going to throw away that this amazing opportunity, it's all my fault. I can see where you're coming from. Any father would want their son to fulfill their dreams he couldn't fulfill himself. <laughs> it's not like that. My lifelong dream was... It was... Hmm? You okay? What was your dream? It's nothing. My dream doesn't matter. If Tsutomo wants to follow his dream of becoming a manga artist, then I don't want him to give up for nothing. Give it up for nothing. If he's got a dream, I want him to chase after it. You might be able to make it in time. Huh? I think he's here in Okinawa. Someone saw a guy carrying that huge backpack of his. A backpack? I thought of something while he we were talking. I think he's going to use the same method you made him use when he had to throw away all his manga. He's going to toss his dreams in the river. No. In the Kubochi, in the Kubochi River? More than likely. What am I standing around here for then? I've got to find Stoma. Let's find Tsutomo. Let's go find him. Looks like Hidano's father rushed off towards the station in the Kabuchi River. Guess I should follow him. Oh, there he is! What are you doing? Oh, you're the guy who helped me in Kamurocho! Did you seriously come all the way to Okinawa just to throw that stuff in your backpack into the river? Wait, what are you talking about, Kiri-san? What's he going to throw away? Kirano's backpack is packed full of copies of Shonen 5. Uh. What? Is that, is that true, hirano -san? You know, no matter how many times you throw your manga into this river, you won't be able to get over your pain and regret. Uh. How do you know about that? I heard it from your old man. Shit. What the hell is happening here? hirano -san, you bought all those Shonen 5s just to throw them away? He's giving up on his dream of being a manga artist. Uh. Huh? Hirano should have been over the moon to win that award. Instead, he only felt conflicted. He thought he'd have to become a doctor to fulfill his family's expectations of him and tried to suppress his desire to go pro with his manga. Isn't that right, Hirano? So, to get rid of the conflict he was feeling, he bought as many issues of Shonen 5 as he could and tried to absolve himself of his self-perceived sin by throwing them away. You thought it was a sin? Throwing away something you love so dearly is something Hirano considers to be a sin. Because of this sin of his, he felt he had to force himself to give up on his dream. You're right. It's just as you said, Kiryu-san. It's a sin. I don't have the right to draw manga. But why would drawing manga be a sin? I don't want to give up on my manga, but I have to if I'm going to become a doctor in the future. You don't need to give up on your dream. Yume, 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 Yume. Tsutomo, you don't need to throw your dream away. Dad? 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 I'm so sorry, Tsutomo. I had no idea you were pushing yourself so hard. You were lying to people about being from a family of doctors. Wait, I don't have to give up on my dream? What do you mean, Dad? You should become a professional manga artist. Dad, but why? Tsutomo. Do you know why I made you get rid of all those manga all those years ago? You wanted me to focus on studying, right? That was part of it, but to tell you the truth, I was afraid you'd make the same mistakes that I did. What? The reason I bought you so much manga when you were young is because I love manga more than anyone. <gasps> Wait, you do? I always wanted to be a manga artist, but I never had the talent to go pro. I submitted my work to dozens of manga contests, but I never won a single award. 
Hell, the Shannon Five contest was so out of my league, I never even considered it an option. Dad? Despite that, I kept drawing my manga, to the point of shirking my studies to become a doctor. In the end, I couldn't fulfill either goal. That's how I ended up inheriting the family pharmacy. I didn't want the same thing happening to you. Wait, so you mean... You got what it takes to be a professional manga artist. As someone who once dreamed of becoming just that, I know just how wasteful it would be to throw it all away. Wait, so you'll support Tsutomo-san's effort to become a manga artist? Of course I will. If Tsutomo wants to be a manga artist, then it's my duty to his father to believe in him and give him all the support he needs. You're an editor in Sh for Shonen 5, right? I trust you will help my son down the path he's chosen. Eh. Of course. I'll do my best. This is fantastic, Hirano-san. Now nothing's stopping you from making the manga you love. Let's get right to business and start talking about your new series. I'm sure it'll be the greatest work yet. Dad, thank you so much. You've chosen this path. Now give it your all, Tsutomo. I will. I swear I will. I'll make my debut as an artist in Shonen 5. Thank you so much, Kiryu-san. You've done so much for my son and our family. Don't mention it. Um, here. I have my magazines. The manga I created is in this issue. Just read it. And show it to everyone you know. Fifth issue! <laughs> oh. Thanks, I will. Good luck with your career. I hear being a manga artist is pretty tough. Give it your all. Both for yourself and that dad of yours. Hey! <laughs> I just gotta give the apparently 50 copies to Taichi now? <laughs> oh, sheesh. Okay then. Oh, he's still here. Dude! You're back again? Really? What is it with you? <sighs> Kiryu-san, the loan consolidation thing turned out to be a scam just like you said. They almost got me. Is that so? Good on you for seeing through it. <laughs> I don't know how I can thank you, Kiryu san. If you escaped that scam, why are you. what are you doing back here? A friend of mine's also having debt troubles. He asked me if he could borrow just 10,000 yen to help pay them off. I gave it to him as a good friend should. But right after that, this friend of mine skipped town. And since I paid 10,000 yen of his loan, that loan company is holding me responsible as a guarantor for my friend's loan. I never even wanted to be his guarantor. But now they're demanding that I pay off the rest of his loan. What the hell were you thinking? You were about to kill yourself over your own debt. Why would you think you could help your friend with his? <sighs> well, he was in a lot of trouble and I... Of all people would know how stressful that kind of thing can be. I felt really bad for him. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh boy. Alright, fine. Just take me to the loan shark you borrowed from. I might be able to work something out for you. <laughs> really? I'm already too involved. I can't just abandon you now. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> the loan shark we borrowed from is just this way. Follow me. Alright. Let's see if we can hash something out. Violently. I s I haven't healed yet, I just realized. <laughs> I was gonna, and then oh. I didn't. Well, if it ain't Kishimoto-san, come on this way to see me now. I'm touched. Uh? And who do we have here? Haven't seen you around before. Kiryu, you could say I'm friends with Kashimoto. Yeah. So what can I do for you? If you want to learn, I'll give you the same rate I give Kashimoto. 10% every 10 days? Well, that explains a lot. Don't you think that's a little absurd? Are you trying to pick a fight? If you've got a problem, buddy, take it up with my employees. Uh. Hey guys, this man here would like to have a chat with you. Why didn't I heal before this? I don't know. I'm very smart. Very smart. And we're in this same office that we're always in. Hold on, boys. Hold on, boys. Better. Oh, not what I wanted to pick up, but okay. Dush. Ow. 
Wow, bro. Fujiwara. There we go. Only got hit like once, so that's fine. Mm. Uh, what's your deal anyway? Did you come here to get Kashimoto out of his loan? No, I'm not trying to get him off the hook. I just want you to give him an interest rate he can actually pay back. Huh? What? If you borrow money, you pay it back. That's how it works. So, wouldn't it be better for both of you if Kush Kishimoto actually paid you back instead of trying to commit suicide or file for bankruptcy? Uh. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Also, his friend's loan has nothing to do with him. Let him out of being the guarantor for that loan. After all, he didn't sign anything. It's not like he's legally bound. <clears throat> How do you know so much about these things? What are you, some kind of hotshot loan shark yourself? I used to work in a similar line of business. Now then, I'll be keeping an eye on you. Hehehehe. <laughs> Hehehehehe. <laughs> Kitty-san, thank you, truly. Mm. I don't know what would have happened if, to me if I hadn't met you. Your loans haven't gone away, you know. You still need to work hard to pay them back. I know. I will. I won't rest until I've paid off every last yen in my debt. I'd like to give you something to show my gratitude, but this is all I have, I'm afraid. Thanks. <laughs> You've done so much for me. I'm so glad our fates were intertwined. Thank you again! No problem, man, no problem. Yo shh. That was alright. Eh? Oh, Mac! What's up, Kiryu san? Word on the street is you've been busting heads left and right down in Okinawa. How do I know? I just do, haha. <laughs> Don't ask a man to share his secrets. BT dubs, I've been peeping this Yakuza series on TV lately, and it's off the hook. But that's not what I wanted to tell you. Pal of mine down in Okinawa says there's some asshole plastered out of his mind over in Hatsumachi. And let me tell you, not all drunks are created equal. Turns out this guy isn't just any old boozer. He also knows some real badass martial arts moves. What a combination, right? Speaking of, you ever hear of the movie Drinking Tiger? It's all about that kick-ass martial artist, Wong Fei Sung. Anyway, hop over to Hatsumachi and check the sky when you get the time. I think you can only do this one at night time, so... We'll worry about it later. Morning glory. Hello, I'm back. Nakahara! How are you doing, Nakahara? <laughs> Never been better. It'll take more than a few little bits of metal to drag me down. Hell yeah. Aniki, did you learn anything else about the guy who saved me? Yeah. He's actually the brother of the man who raised me as a kid. And apparently he works for the CIA. Is this really stuff you should be talking around the kids with? Oh, okay. The CIA? Wait, the same guy there when I was staring down the other side of that barrel? What's the CIA got to get out of shooting me, though? They're here on a mission. I can't really say much more than that, but them wanting to the deed to Morning Glory's land has something to do with it. What's so special about this patch of sand, though? The land itself isn't what matters. It's the project they're going to build on it. The resort. Exactly. That and the military expansion that hinges on Tamiyama's new... Tamiya's, sorry, new bill. I don't know if I get it, Aniki. What's the CIA got to do with building a resort? All this military-based stuff. 
What? You don't know, Mikio? It's simple. The CIA, they, uh, well, they, they want money. That's it, yeah. They're gonna make bank for the US government. Wow, oh, you sure know a lot, Mikio. <laughs> That's not right at all. The point of this is to smoke out an arms smuggling syndicate which has been undermining the US for years now. This is not child appropriate conversation, man. You sound like friggin' action movie star. But, I mean, you are, technically. <laughs> You're an action star. But not in front of the kitty winkles. Once the CIA gets them out into the open, they're going to crush them once and for all. Turns out Nakahara, Daigo, and I were just the pawns in their plan. Oh, sad face, Kiryu. How'd they find out about all this? How'd you find out about How'd you find out about all this? I heard it straight from Tamiya, the Minister of Defense. Tamiya? You remember Toma, his secretary? Well, Tamiya says if we save Toma, he'll put a stop to the resort. What do you mean, save him? Toma learned too much about the connections between Tamiya and the CIA, so he decided to take matters into his own hands. And now the CIA wants him dead. A real, again, this is not child-friendly topics, man. You have lots of little, little, little deers around you. Wait, but if Toma's mucking up the works, wouldn't it be better if Tamiya and the CIA actually offed him? That's not exactly Tamiya's style. He's far more honorable, honorable than that. Huh. Any rifle politicians wouldn't lift a damn finger if it wasn't going to benefit him. Good to know there are some that actually give a shit. Hmm? True. Yeah, anyway. That's why I came back. To save Toma. Now I need to figure out what, where he is. Mosh mosh! Hello, kid, you. It's Tamiya. Ha! Hey. Any updates? Where are you now? Back in Okinawa. I wanted to stop by the orphanage, but I'll be heading out to look for Tamiya any minute now. There's no need. He'll be at the prefectural office with his advisors all day long. And tonight? They're discussing the details of the resort deal, Kiryu. I expect this meeting to be quite lengthy. In fact, they're more likely than not continue working through the night. As long as Toma's at the prefectural office, he'll be safe. In other words, you can rest easy for now. The real test will come tomorrow. Right. I'm not sure when the meeting will end, but whenever it does, Toma will instantly be in danger. Joji will undoubtedly strike at his most vulnerable moment. I have someone keeping tabs on the meeting, though. I'll contact you again when I learn where Toma's going. For today, try to get some rest for the battle ahead. I expect you'll need it. Oh, and be ready to leap into action at the drop of a hat tomorrow. Will do. Talk to you later, Tamiya. Farewell. Woo! That was Tamiya. Sounds like Toma's gonna be tied up in a meeting until tomorrow. He's safe for now. Good, good. Gives you a chance to take the load off, spend some time with your kids. They missed you some fierce while you were gone. <laughs> I couldn't tell. <laughs> Never seen them quite this pumped before. I'm sure they have tons they want to ask you. Seconded. Anyway, Ikea, we should get going. Oh, right. Hmm? Where to? Just some overnight tests at the hospital. Nothing too serious. I'll swing by tomorrow, okay? Hmm. Sounds good. We'll be back after we drop the boss off, Aniki. Later. See ya. Hit that guy right there, holy fuck! Just a good. <laughs>